How are we going everyone? It's been a stinking hot day today and tomorrow and the next day and then we're going to go back down to cool weather again for autumn. So for us down here in Victoria it's quite unusual for us to have this sort of spike in weather and it technically really is if you go by uh, the old calendar, something of that nature, I think it's the first of autumn already now, so or, well, second week of autumn I should say, rather than the fourth or fifth week. So the weather is hot and I haven't seen any cabbage white butterfly moth over here flying around in the last two weeks we had a heap of them and I've planted my lettuce here and I'm about to plant my broccolis and cabbages on the other side I've done all my garlic as you saw already I have a mulch this area here and I'm, I'm thinking about it it's something I should have done earlier but I'm going to get around to it and hopefully the weather cools down quick enough and we're not going to be worrying about it too much Please ignore the tomatoes. These, well, you know, there is a resurgence of tomato growth going on here. We've got more tomatoes coming on. This is really, these were leftovers I planted, so really they're not an example of what I love growing. They're still going over there, by the way, so if you want to know what's going on, they're down there. And that big pile on the ground is the old uh, spring onions we never got around to eating. They're going to go to the chooks. But back here, as far as controlling the grubs and the, you know, you, you get leaf miner on your leafy greens, you also get cabbage white butterfly going on, snails and slugs and all sorts of little critters that come out there and get quite destructive. And I talk about insecticides and making your home brew, using that on the garden, that's a great way to do it, uh, keeping it natural organic, but you know, also the uh, exclusion netting. Now we've got the flexi garden frames. You can see it over there. I've taken off the netting today because I was doing a bit of cleaning up underneath it. That's a green frame down there. Now the beautiful thing about that one is you, you can build it a different shape and size. You can get it quite high if you like. But for the things like lettuce and even cabbage, you don't need it that high. And I've been able to track down another hundred or so grow tunnels. Now we've had these last year, they're fantastic little unit. This is my one, I've just taken it out of the shed and I'm going to install it again to show you how easy it is. Now you get four hoops like that. I love this little unit, I love the flexi garden frame. They're both great little setups that you can do. I mean take a look at here, now you can't see this. This is my makeshift home style bamboo sticks and twine, soft tie and obviously uh, insect netting over the top and you've got a framework going on so this is quite an elaborate construction and it does work but it wasn't designed for insects more of a bit of shade so you can build your own if you like or you can get yourself a grow tunnel now the beautiful thing about this little grow tunnel four hoops it reaches about three and a half meters in length so you can space them out evenly over the three and a half meters pop that into the soil like that so i'm just doing this by eye approximately I think like that there and you don't need a tape measure or anything just make sure you get it into the ground properly so it doesn't wobble around too much and one down the end here now this isn't three and a half this is about two and a half or oh, it's probably three meters close to three meters so it's long enough and I've only got my lettuce in here, look at this, I've got tomatoes growing again, look at this, look at that. At the end of the season, I've got another batch of tomatoes coming up. Ignore the, the cooch and all the other weeds growing in here, I'll pull them, all them out afterwards. But with the grow tunnel, you get the insect netting and you also get a plastic netting, so you can create your little hothouse too. This is cool. So, two pieces, a bit of uh, polyurethane plastic there, clear stuff. You can drape over the top if you need to create a bit of heat in it. or use this insect netting as an exclusion to control them. So it's quite a, a bit of an oversized bit of netting, nothing wrong with that. Now to hold it down simply clip, clip on these little plastic clips on the side of the actual frame so the insect netting is firm and tight there so it doesn't blow away. So before you do the remaining clips, peg down the one end like that, see I've just curled it over and, and pegged it down with a bit of wire that it comes with. Then do the same thing on the other side, just like that, pulling it tight, and peg that down as well. And then finish off putting on the remaining clips to hold the netting down in place. And there you have it, folks. The grow tunnel installed in less than one minute, literally. 
It's a great way to protect your seedlings, especially when they're young like this and vulnerable to insects and even birds and even rabbits over here. So check it out on our website, VasilisGarden.com. We've got them back online. Only a limited supply, folks. There's not going to be many there. Not going to last forever. So if you're going to get some, get it now before they do sell out. And it is Easter weekend, long weekend. We've got some great deals going on on our website. Some big, massive discounts going across the board. Check it all out. And the code word is... Easter Bunny. Check it out, vasilisgarden.com. From me, Vasily, Maresi. I love it.